What's going on, all you Wild West enthusiasts? It's your favorite outlaws back here for Cinefellas. I'm Logan Myers, my good mate over there. And I'm Henry Hill, and today we are going back to the Wild Wild West, way back in time for the Dutton family in Paramount Plus's 1883. That's right. Maybe about six months ago, me and this guy uh, reviewed the pilot episode, the very first episode of 1883 prequel to Yellowstone. This takes place about 140 years before, you know, modern Yellowstone with John Dutton, Kevin Costner and the whole clan of the Duttons. But this is his great, 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 great ancestors in this show. And essentially the setup is a group of people moving across the Great Plains to get to the Oregon Trail to get to Oregon, you know, to basically build a house and start a life there. So there, this is their struggle and this is their journey on the way there. And this is a really great setup. A lot of fantastic actors in this. We have Sam Elliott that needs no introduction, the American cowboy that we all love. He plays Shea Brennan. That's right. Nice mustache that built a ram. <laughs> <laughs> and we have uh, country stars in this as well. Tim McGraw playing James Dutton and then Faith Hill playing Margaret Dutton, his wife. And they have some kids and they're, you know, friends and other people that are with them along the way to get to Oregon. That's where their destination and obviously, they don't make it all the way there, and they end up where we know from the Yellowstone show. Ten episodes, the first Yellowstone spinoff. We go back in time, 1883, and you know some an interesting uh, casting decision with uh, Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. Didn't really know what to expect going in with them. I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure they've done some acting gigs before. I might have saw Tim McGraw and something, but you know that was going to be the biggest thing. Were they going to be able to pull off the roles? And luckily, they were able to. Very believable, very natural. You know, they didn't get too many hard scenes to deal with that were like outside their acting abilities. But, you know, given what they had to do and, you know, Tim McGraw playing the father, having to protect the family and then Faith Hill, his wife, uh, playing his wife on the show, keeping the family together. And then, you know, you have the, the daughter, um, Elsa, who narrates the whole show. You know, it's very much about the family and about the hardships uh, that they come across going along the trail. And, you know, it takes them all the way till they wind up, you know, in present day on the ranch and everything. But uh, deals with a lot of things, everything from the Civil War uh, with Sam Elliott's character, you know, a, a known Civil War soldier coming off that. And then he has a partner um, that uh, rides along with him, Thomas, played by LaMonica Garrett. Um, and they come across the Duttons on the way and they become friends and they then kind of protect each other you know they protect the whole caravan with the Duttons and everybody you know coming in and trying to go on and find you know a better life in America and you know witnessing the brutalities along the way you know with that being said too especially back in the 1800s you know they didn't have the modern medicines and the way technology that we have today to get through situations so they're on the Great Plains they're middle of nowhere you have you know Native Americans different tribes coming up on them trying to steal trying to scalp them kill them they have to survive with this caravan of people, all different personalities, different backgrounds, some from Europe, some from Texas, you know, all over the place. But they all kind of bond together and, you know, take on the Native Americans and people and other bad guys that show up along the way that's trying to steal from them and get cattle and everything that you can imagine back then. So you kind of put yourself in their shoes. Like, how do you survive? I know I couldn't out there, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and not being trained like this. And, you know, it's really captivating. Uh, interesting how they do this, how they survive each day dealing with the weather, you know, with sickness, um, animals, you know, snakes, any types of animals that are out there. You know, it's it's all about survival and they how they have to work together to get through it to get to their final destination of Oregon. So it's really compelling the way that Taylor Sheridan writes these characters. And it's really interesting. Even the supporting cast, you're just really involved in love to see what happened to these people. Yeah, it's a phenomenal story. It shows you what happened, you know, before the Duttons and the modern world got there, what the family had to go through and, you know, why John Dutton is always adamant of protecting the ranch at all costs. It goes back to the struggle that they went through and watching this really puts things into perspective and the things that we take for granted nowadays, you know, things common colds and things like that could be deadly back then, you know, and they had to find water, they had to find food, you know, it's, it's a struggle every day, totally different way of life, and really puts things into perspectives on the way they lived back then and led by a great cast. I love Sam Elliott in this role, you know, he puts it, he puts everything into the role, very believable. I, honestly, obviously, he looks the part, 
just looking at them. And uh, the girl Elsa was very well, you know, she had a great performance too along the way, you know, ends up uh, falling in love with uh, one of the, the Native Americans there. And they have a really nice story. Um, and she, the only thing that I kind of didn't like is it's her narration throughout. I got kind of long winded after a while, every single episode, she kind of narrates over. So you always got to listen to her narrate for five to 10 minutes at a time throughout the whole episode. But if you get, if, if that's not an issue for you, then you're not going to have any issue watching this at all. It's a great show. It's different than, uh, it's, you know, obviously different from Yellowstone that we're used to watching with the bunkhouse and everybody having fun and just the modern way of life. Uh, but this, you know, shows you what they went through and uh, why they fight so hard for this ranch that they end up on. And it really does tie into Yellowstone, especially towards the end. They, they describe how it all ties in. And basically what I mean by that is how they make it to where, you know, Yellowstone is in Montana. Uh, they call it paradise. And it really has to do with uh, Tim McGraw's character and this Native American. Uh, Isabel May playing Elsa. Uh, something that kind of happens to her without giving too much away and why they, you know, end up setting up shop in their home and uh, what we know as Yellowstone and the native American kind of guides them to this really special place. And that's where it all kind of ends and leads into, you know, Yellowstone seven generations later. And it's really cool tie in how they did that at the end, really phenomenal writing per usual, you know, great show running all around, just a great show, a bit slow at first until you kind of get the vibe that they're going for much different show than Yellowstone, but you can kind of feel what these characters going through back in the 1800s and what they're trying to accomplish. So I thought all together as a whole, uh, really fantastic, well-written, well-directed show, great cast ensemble here, really uh, standout performances by Sam Elliott, Tim McGraw, Faith Hill, and then Isabella May. I thought she was really great. So that being said, I'm going to give 1883 the entire season that's streaming on Paramount Plus. I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five. Sam Elliott, hair pieces. <laughs> What a great show. You know, this could have been just a cash grab by Taylor Sheridan. Let's throw Yellowstone name on it and just have a subpar story. But no, you're not going to get that with Taylor Sheridan. He's the best writer on television. He's created this universe now, and it all started with 1883. Um, you know, it showed the struggle, uh, the hardships that the caravan went through, the Dutton family, all the things that they came across from animals to having to deal with other indigenous people, you know, people coming from other countries, other immigrants trying to make their way and find a good life. And it was just so hard back then. And it's, it's uh, you know, no secret that a lot of them didn't survive. But those that did survive passed on something really special. And that being the Dutton Ranch and that land that uh, is, you know, now in Yellowstone with John Dutton. So this, this series really does a great job portraying that. Some great performances. Tim McGraw and Faith Hill were excellent in their roles. Uh, could have been really cheesy and bad if they were bad actors, but they really pulled it off and they really did a great job. Sam Elliott, as always, phenomenal, especially in Westerns. This is his kind of, uh, you know, movie. You really buy him in this. And he really gives that gruff, uh, you know, performance and that really heartbreaking, you know, scenes towards the end, you know, when he describes what happens to his, his family and, you know, just the whole journey for him was awesome to see too. So phenomenal show. Uh, and uh, it kicked off, you know, really the Yellowstone universe. Now we have 1923 and we're going to get others on the way. And it's because this was so successful and so good. So with that being said, I'm going to give 1883 a four out of five John Dutton hair pieces. Interested from here, from all you guys out there, what did you like about 1883? What didn't you like about it? What's your favorite Taylor Sheridan show? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to click subscribe. Also check out these wild cowboys on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and our website, cinefellows.com for the latest, greatest TV, movie news, and reviews. These boys have to get back to the bunkhouse. I think Rip's waiting for us to get back there. He's got some Jim Beam, <laughs> doesn't he? He's waiting to <laughs> kick our asses. So thank you guys for watching our review of 1883. We will be back very soon to not only cover the first half of Yellowstone season five, but also the entire season of 1923, which is now streaming weekly every week on Paramount Plus. Uh, so thank you guys and uh, back to the bunkhouse these wild boys go. So until next time, cheese. cheese.